Hello friends, Jai Shri Ram. In the last video, we saw how to create various fields in issue types. Okay, so these are all my issue types. We saw how to create the fields. In this video, we are going to see how to change the workflow of every issue type. Again, just like the fields, if you change the fields of one issue type, they won't change for the other issue types, right? Similarly, if you change the workflow of one issue type, it won't change for all the issue types. Okay, it will stay local to that particular issue type. What is workflow? Workflow means uh, the way in which or the steps through which the status of that issue type can progress. For example, it can start, you can create this feature, it will be in to-do state and then it can go to in progress state and then it can go to done state okay but here basically uh, they have hacked it a bit uh, they said that from any status you can come to to do from any status you can go to in progress from any status you can go to done okay so this is how uh, the workflow of this uh, feature is there so let me start from the basic how will you change the workflow of let us say a defect so first of all, go to your project. See, I'm into project settings and then I'm in issue types. So how will you come till here? You will go to your project. Then you will go to your project settings. And here you will see the issue types. Let us say I'm into bug and I want to change the workflow of this bug. So I'll go to edit workflow. Okay. See, this is the current workflow. Now, let us say that I want to change it a bit. I want uh, the statuses to be like this. See, when you start, it is in the to-do state. Till here, it is okay. After to-do state, uh, it should go into uh, in uh, or assigned, uh, let us say, okay. Let me add to-do status. And let me just uh, type here. Um, or add in progress status so that it will appear in blue. And then I'll uh, name it as uh, in development okay I'm adding it so in development has come over here now I don't want any status okay so what I'll say is uh, after to do it should always go into in development okay so I'm just uh, see the way I did it is I, I went here I just dragged it like this and I dragged it to uh, whichever point I want okay so this is the source this is the destination Okay, and I can name this transition that okay. Uh, I'll just say um, dev lead assigns the defect to some dev to work upon. Okay, you can give as long names as you want. Okay, and let me just arrange them better so that uh, people get a better view. Uh, okay, this is how it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, the name is too long so I'll do one thing I'll just uh, change it a bit dev lead assigns to a dev okay so that is easy to understand now after development uh, I want it to be assigned to the QA and then QA will do the QA verification so in progress I'll just rename it as uh, in QA verification okay and uh, then the last stage would be closed okay so this should be closed closed okay now these are my statuses so in QA verification it won't come from any status so I'm removing it and here I'll just be writing uh, from here till here it is um, dev fixes and assigns to QA okay so dev fixes the issue and then assigns it to the QA then uh, I will say that you know uh, QA verifies and closes it okay so I this any status I'm just removing and I'll just uh -huh, that is so cumbersome so you see a mini map over here right so I can just move it like this okay now I'll just uh, create a transition and I'll say 
QA verifies and closes it. Okay. So then, after QA verifies and closes it, uh, the state will be closed. So I'll explain it once again. Okay. Let me explain it properly now. See, when a defect starts, so when you create a defect, it is in the to do state. Then the dev lead assigns it to a developer. Okay. So now the state is in development. Now, after that, uh, the uh, developers will, uh, developer fixes it and assigns it back to the QA. Okay. So after that, the status will be in QA verification. And after that, the QA verifies it and closes it. Okay. So now the status will be closed. Now, this workflow is being modified for all of them for bug, epic, feature, capability, everything. Okay. So I'm just saying update the workflow. When I do update the workflow, here it will ask me, do you really want to use the same workflow for all these uh, issue types? Probably not. Uh, this holds true only for the bug, right? So I can remove the uh, rest of the issue types. Okay, now I'll say save and continue. So when I do this, okay, review the columns and statuses. Now it will once again ask me now, whenever, uh, see it knows uh, when it populates the board, at that time on the board, you just have these three columns, right? So it's asking you that, you know, uh, which, which of uh, which status is in progress status and which status is closed which it is to do so i've already told it that you know uh, to do will be in to do column and everything else will be in uh, you know in progress or you can just call it in progress why not in progress okay and uh, then it is closed okay so this is how your uh, columns will appear on the board okay so status is on the board now I'm just saying save the changes and yeah, of course these columns, uh, see for all these other people, uh, this is how it is and uh, for bug, this is how it is, but we have left one status and that is in development. So in development also, I will pull over here. So whenever it is in, in development, then also it is in progress only. Okay. So this is how it should be unassigned statuses. So this should all be empty. Okay, all the statuses should be assigned to some column or the other. Of course, you cannot uh, do this because uh, this is only for bug. Uh, it, it is very specific. It is only for bug. So you cannot assign it for uh, in this row because this row is not meant to be for the bugs. Okay, I'm just saving it. Notice that here it has changed to bug. So this workflow is only there for bug. Okay, now I'm going back. I'm going to any other uh, issue type, let us say a story, I'm seeing edit workflow. See, this workflow hasn't changed even a bit. Okay. And this holds for all of them except bug. Okay. So that is how it is. Now let me also go to the storyboard. So I'm going back to my project. Okay. So I'll automatically come to my board. Okay. Now over here, on my board, there is nothing being displayed. Uh, I'll tell you in the subsequent uh, video why it is not being displayed because the sprint hasn't started. But if I go to backlog and if I just create a sprint and uh, I am just adding a few dates, if you want, uh, today is 26th actually. Okay. And uh, let us say the end date is two weeks from now. So that means it would be something like second sorry friday uh, my bad yeah it will be uh, this week and then this week right so it will be friday okay so this is how uh, this print is i'm just assigning a few things to this print so from the backlog i'm just dragging it onto my sprint okay now I'll be able to see that and as soon as I start the sprint, I'll be able to see them on the board. At the moment, the board is empty. As soon as I start the sprint, I'll be able to see these things on my, uh, you know, uh, on my board. So my sprint name is this. Okay. That is absolutely fine. Or let me call it as uh, PI1 uh, iteration one. 
okay let me give it the complete name program increment one uh, and inside that this is iteration one okay it's not uh, the uh, there, there's a limit up to which you can put so i'm just writing iter so it is basically iteration one okay duration is uh, just of two weeks and you already know start it and end it okay let's start it so as soon as you do that uh, now you see i'm in board and you are seeing everything on the board why because the sprint has started when you complete the sprint then also uh, after that you know uh, again uh, you won't see anything on the board again as long as you don't start another sprint and that sprint should also have some issues okay so this is how it is now over here uh, you will notice that uh, uh, let us say this bug is there okay so this bug status is to do now let us say that it goes into development okay i cannot go to any other status right i can go one by one only because that is how the workflow is it goes one by one so it is in development now in development i will uh, uh, i will see on the board now see it is in progress because in development is a in progress kind of a uh, workflow uh, now if i once again go and change it to uh, in queue verification then also it will stay in progress only and now uh, if i just go ahead and close it then you will notice that it has moved to closed okay similar thing uh, you know now you cannot go back to anything see it it can you cannot go back why because uh, this um, workflow is designed in such a way that it goes only in one direction okay so now let us say that i want to reopen this bug so i don't have a way of doing it so i should re-verify my uh, or change my um, workflow in this way i'll go back to project settings now i'm holding down the control key and clicking on this so that it opens in another tab or you can also right click and open it in a new tab over here i'll uh, go to issue type it is uh, bug and i'll edit the workflow again here you notice it is all in a linear way right but in a cl from closed if i want to reopen it then the way to do it is i will take a arrow from here and i'll take it till here and i will just name it as um, reopen okay so a closed effect can reopen and it can go into to do state once again it should go into development because the dev lead should assign it to the developer once again the uh, development team should fix it uh, and then it they should reassign it to some qa so qa lead let us say and then the qa lead should you know uh, assign it to some other qa and maybe some qa members should close it so this is the workflow i am updating this workflow I'm saving it only for the bug. Okay, I'm saving it. Now, if you notice, if I uh, if I drag this, see, I can reopen it so that it goes into to do. But I st I can still not take it to progress. Why? Because uh, in progress is I mean I I cannot uh, move a closed bug uh, into any of these statuses. Okay, and that is the reason why uh, this bug can only go into one status, and that is reopen. Okay. Now, once reopened, then once again it can transition to in development or whatever. Okay. So now it is going to in development. By default, this is going to in development only because uh, in QA verification uh, will come later to that. So over here, if I start dragging it, then see it is showing me that I cannot drag it here or here. I can only drag it to transition to and in QA verification. Okay. So it is very easy uh, transition to. Mm, transition to in queue verification okay now i can draw a uh, drag and drop it only in closed status there is no other status left okay so this is how your bugs um, change their state or any of your issue types changes its state it is always as per the workflow that you create until next time this is amit signing off jai shri ram